Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing some back planning for the month of February and my Hobonichi weeks. February got a little out of hand for me so I really want to back plan this month because I don't like to leave it empty and there was a lot going on and I wasn't able to do it until now. The first three weeks in February I was extremely sick and I wasn't doing anything. My husband came home on the 13th after being on a work detail for a month and a half. That kind of made these days very very busy. I wasn't able to do much and I was still not feeling well. This current week we had a family wedding on the 23rd so this few days beforehand was wild and out of control and I wasn't able to sit down and plan. Next week we got a lot going on even though there's only a few days left and I really want to get it down because I'm not going to remember everything unless I see it in my monthly calendar. Let's get into putting some stuff down. Now, as you can see, there is a little shadowing from the prior month on this page, but I'm totally okay with that. The paper that's in a Hobonichi Weeks is very thin. So if you plan on purchasing a Hobonichi Weeks and starting to plan in it, keep in mind that the paper is very, very thin. I don't have a plan, but I did pull out a lot of items. I don't remember where these rub-ons are actually from. They're very, very old. So I'm just gonna take a minute to clip some out and I wanna put them down here in the bottom right-hand corner. Okay, I took this little segment out that I really like and I'm just removing the back paper from it and I'm gonna place it down probably right about here. These are older, so they do not always transfer so perfectly. So I'm just gonna take some time to really see if I can get these to transfer. And it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. I'm just trying to get the majority of it to come down. I think we're gonna just go from here. Has like a really distressed kind of look to it. I wanna put some washi tape here. This one's fun. I'm just gonna rough kind of Tear it like that. Okay, we're gonna just peel the end. Pull some of that out. Lay it next to it. I'm gonna just take my scissors and cut off what was hanging off of the edge. And just something really, really basic. It doesn't have to be crazy. My one problem that I have when I do these is I never know when to stop. <laughs> I can go on and on. I'm gonna add these as well. These are the wildflowers from Sweet Caress. I will try to link as much as possible down in the description. I kinda of like this one a lot. I'm gonna see if we can get that one to peel up. And I think I'm just gonna run it right here along the side nothing too fancy. I want to put something in this corner so we're going to come back to this. So the first thing I wanted to put in was my husband's birthday. He was not here for his birthday but I do want to definitely put this right here to start off the month to remember that. That came from a sheet from also from Sweet Caress. It was the Medium Fun Holiday Circle Icons in Oatmeal. Now, I usually use oatmeal with Sweet Caress. I had discussed in my last video that I wanted to try the cocoa. I realized that once I went through my stash, I actually have the cocoa. <laughs> so I don't have to purchase it. So I was really happy about that. And I feel like the two colors, oatmeal and cocoa, complement each other really, really well. I wanted to put a saying down in this bottom here. This is from Oladere Paper. I just want something here. I'm not sure which one yet. This one right here where it says, good things take time. I'm gonna use my tweezers. These tweezers are from cloth and paper. I will link them. I'm just gonna take this. And we're gonna put it right there just because I like that a lot. 
I like that saying a lot and I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna look for something for this lower corner here because I feel like it's blank and I just wanna put something there. I pulled these stickers out right here. This is the Neutral Boho Collection from Sweet Caress Designs. I'm liking this right here. I don't know if I'm gonna use the whole thing, but we'll see once we get it down near the calendar how I'm gonna like that. I actually think I wanna put it right I like the way that looks. It just brings something to that corner and I kind of set it off that I didn't put it right against the line. I dropped it below a little bit. I think I'm going to put another strip of washi right here. I'm going to use this one or actually the lighter one like this. Oh, that's a little crooked. We'll straighten that out. Okay, the next thing I wanted to add, we had a snow day. It was actually the day that my husband was traveling. And for traveling day, I wanna use this sticker right here from Once More With Love. The only thing is I end up cutting out these little clouds and there we go. We have the little tiny airplane left. And how cute is that? I love that. So we're gonna put that right there. So now also on um, the 13th, we had a massive snowstorm and I like to keep track of the weather. So I have these stickers here from Paper K Design. They're her minimal line and I love this snowflake right here. I'm gonna see if we can fit it in right above. Actually, what I'd like to do, I'm just gonna stick it there to hold it there, is I wanna kind of offset it with a circle so I'm gonna take out my cocoa round circles and pull one of those up and put that here. And then I'm gonna take the snowflake and kind of just offset it with that circle. And I really like the way that looks. I'll show you a close up of it so you can get a better idea. So at the end, I will zoom in so you guys can see a closer look of it. The next thing we're gonna add is these stickers. I kind of cut the sheet in half because it was large. They're from Paper Panda and they are the minimal holidays. I'm gonna pull out Valentine's Day. It's right here. We didn't do a lot on Valentine's Day because it was the day after my husband traveled. He had a long, long day because of the fact that it was snowing and his flight got delayed three times. So I'm just gonna put that right there. I think it looks really cute. I'm starting to monitor takeout food because I don't want it to get out of control. At our old home, because we've recently moved into a new one, we had no takeout service, no delivery of any food of any sort. So when we got here, we were just like, yay, and we got crazy. And I will tell you for this week, we lost our minds. I was also very sick and the house was empty and my husband had just flown home. We had a massive snowstorm. We had like close to a foot of snow. So I'm gonna mark all the days that we had takeout, which was the night he came home. <laughs> do we even have room for it? I think we do. We also did it on the 14th because I was very sick still. And I found a great place for ramen noodles and got on a ramen noodle kick. So we had that also on the 15th. <laughs> and sad to say we did it on the 16th as well. Like I said, we lost our minds. It was crazy. And we also did take out on the 25th, which was today, everybody's too tired to cook. So I'm gonna put that right there. Next up, I'm gonna be using these YouTube stickers from Sweet Caress Designs. Now that I'm filming on YouTube, I just wanna mark which days that I'm actually filming. I'm doing a video today, and I did one on the 23rd. So I'm gonna mark that down here. Oh, a little higher up, because the other one was higher try and keep them at the same distance. Next, I'm gonna be using these. They're from Paper K. They're her minimal line. I have some crazy stuff going on with the floors in my new home, so we're gonna put these down. I have the flooring company coming on the 27th. 
to check my floors. I'm gonna add in the time. They usually don't give you the time until they text you to let you know. So I don't wanna put anything in there right away. We're kind of jumping around here and that's okay. I want it to be like that. I'm just kind of filling things in that I can really remember off the top of my head now and then I'll refer to my notes for more. I found this cute little freebie from Once More With Love and I love this little guy in the cup. I'm gonna stick that right there because I think it's so cute and I wanna use it and I think it's adorable. The 20th was a really busy day. I had lots going on. Getting ready for the wedding was crazy, so we had eyebrows. <laughs> we had nail polish going on. We had our hair being cut. Do we have one for haircuts? Okay, this is funny. This is the pets from papery planning, also in the Cafe Misto. This is actually supposed to be for grooming, but I don't have anything for haircut. And it's a little scissors and comb, hard to see. I don't know if my camera can zoom in on that, but I'm not finding anything that's for haircuts. So pet grooming or not, it works, it looks cute. So I had my eyebrows done, I had my nails done, and I had my hair cut. So wanted to make sure I put that in. And I'm actually gonna write the time in on that because I remember the time was 10.30 a.m. Okay, now we had a wedding on, actually, I put this on the wrong date, the YouTube Filming was actually on Saturday. So let me take a second to just change that. I remove things with undo remover. I'm not gonna do it on camera because it gets a little bit messy, but I'll be right back. I'm gonna move this over to the 24th where it belongs. Okay, I ended up moving my YouTube icons. I had them on the wrong day. I had them on the 24th and the 25th. I'll link the undo below. I purchased it on Amazon or I get it at Michael's and I literally cannot plan without it because I can't move stickers otherwise. If I try to just straight peel them up, they get ruined. Now I did not have a sticker for wedding but I found this little sweet caress November freebie from like 150 years ago and there's these two glasses that say cheers I think that's kind of cute I think that's gonna work for the wedding I'm just gonna put it right there and I'm just gonna write in wedding so that it's more clear There we go. That's all set the way I like it. And let's move on. The next sticker I'm gonna use is from the Coffee Monster. It is the rest day stickers. I try to make certain days where I don't do anything. It's been very hard to get to this point, but I will tell you the day before my husband came home was a huge rest day, which was the 12th. This day before his birthday was a huge rest day. And I will definitely consider today a rest day because besides just doing this video, I haven't done anything else today. And that's not like me. So I like to mark my rest days so that I can keep track of if I'm giving myself enough self-care for the month. On the 21st, I'm gonna use these Grumpy Bear Sticker Co. companies. It's the Manishi C3. I don't know if these are made anymore, and I'm feeling like this company name has changed. A lot of companies have changed names since I started using them, so I'll do my best to look them up. But this is when I decided to redo my YouTube channel and get it back from the dead. And I'm gonna put that sticker there with this white one on top because it, I felt like it was a big day and I wanted to celebrate it. So that came out really cute. The next thing we're gonna use is these little box stickers. I actually made these myself. I used some clip art that was royalty free and I cut them out in my silhouette. I'm gonna put these here on the 29th because I have Ikea coming to deliver furniture. And also, I do not have the exact window frame 
because they text you the day before to let you know. So I'm gonna put that there so that I don't forget. Next up is gonna be the 26th. I'm gonna use these stickers here from Paper K again. This is the minimal line and they're like little couches. So I thought it was just cute because they're gonna be moving furniture. So I'm gonna just put that here and I'm gonna just write in R and F. And I forgot here near the little um, hammer to put flooring company. Next is grocery shopping. I want to start keeping track of how often I order groceries. I do Instacart a lot and my husband likes to go grocery shopping. I hate going grocery shopping. It is not my thing. So I do try to keep track of when I do Instacart orders. So for each month, I can go back and look up what I spent so that I know if I'm overspending or if I have room to spend more. I know for sure that I ordered on February 8th, I had a Sam's Club order. So I'm gonna put that little cart there. I also had a grocery order on the 3rd, so I'm going to put that little card there. And I know that my husband went grocery shopping on the 22nd for me because he asked if I needed anything and I was like, oh yeah, I am not going to be saying no to that. So we're going to put that there. That's actually pretty good. I only had to do grocery shopping three times in the month. That's kind of normal for us. The next sticker I'm going to use is from Sweet Caress. The, the oatmeal stickers, I'm going to mark when I meal planned. I'm trying to get better at meal planning and trust me, it has not been easy. It's definitely not my favorite thing to do, but it's a must because if I don't plan meals, then I don't know what to eat and then it gets a little crazy and then we start ordering food out like we did in this situation here, which got really bad. Once I searched through my stash, I found my official donate stickers. They're from Once More With Love. These are so cute. I love everything about these little stickers. I think I'm gonna do this one because it's really cute. We're gonna be doing that on the 28th. Here, I know on the 10th that I did a lot of laundry. So we're gonna do laundry here. I think I also did some on the 21st, but that was my husband's from his packing. We leave our stuff in, bagged in garage for as long as possible because traveling, bed bugs, I'm a germaphobe. I keep that stuff out of my house until I'm positive that there's nothing in it and then I bag it up and I run it through hot wash. So he was no in no rush for his stuff. So I just kind of scribbled it in there since there wasn't a spot for another laundry sticker. Next up, we're gonna use these from Planner Monkey Co. They are also the mini line. I want to put down my Instagram post for my planner channel. I had one this month. Sad, very sad. Actually, I had one yesterday as well because I posted about my video. I'm gonna pop it right here and it's totally fine. Also have this Kindle sticker from Paper K. It's really cute. It actually says Kindle on the bottom of it. I did Kindle maintenance on this day and I do Kindle maintenance once a month where I go in and I clean out all the books that I've read. Because I'm an avid reader, I have a bookstagram where I review books prior to release and then I also back read. It helps me to keep track of the ones that I have to remember that I do have to read and post. The next sticker I'm gonna use is from Once More With Love. It's the Happy Packages. I got my new kitchen stools on the fourth. I just wanna keep record of that in case something happens and I have to go back to remember when I purchased them and when they were mailed to me. 
The final sticker I'm going to use is from Grumpy Bear. Again, I don't think these are made anymore, and I don't even think that's the name of the company anymore. I'm going to have to do some research. Now, there's some little hearts on the top. I really don't want those little hearts in there, so I'm just going to take my sticker or my scissors, and I'm going to cut that just like that, and I'm going to put that here on the first because I remember even though I was sick, I did a lot of stuff for my planning situation. I organized my room that day. I don't get too crazy on how neat my writing is or not. I love this sticker here from Grumpy Bear. It's like the little bear peeking around the corner. I try to put him on every month. I actually like him best right there, which was my first thoughts. And that smeared on me. I'm gonna fix this real easily. And I'll put that there. And then I'm gonna put my little bear next to it. Super cute. I love how that came out. And I'm gonna add in a little check mark from Sweet Caress. I am going to add one more thing. I am just going to add these thin tape strips from Sweet Caress. I'm going to add that right here. And I'm going to add this Sweet Caress sticker for shopping because this is when I picked out my dress and shoes at David's Bridal for the wedding. And I'm just going to write in dress. and shoes and this time I'm gonna wait for it to dry so that it doesn't smear because I smeared that up there and I ended up having to fix it. The video was getting really long and I apologize guys so I wanted to wrap it up. Here is the final layout. Now I did change some things. I didn't like the fix that I did up here so I fixed it again and I left all the original footage in because I wanted to show you guys that if you mess something up in your planner you can fix it. If you don't like that fix you can fix it again I promise there are so many different options you can go towards if you mess something up. I also found a bride and a groom so I just had to have that. I found shoes I wanted to put that for my shoe shopping. I did a couple of different things. I had a smear over here, so I had to fix it, and I added in some times that I'm now aware of for different appointments from text messages that just recently came in. I did a lot of things. I did have some smearing here too, so what I am in the process of doing is I wanna purchase a Pilot Vanishing Point fountain pen. I just don't know if I'm going to go with a fine nib or a medium nib. I currently write with a point of five tip ballpoint pen or gel pen and that's quite thick. So I'm not sure which tip that I really need to go with. So if you have any suggestions, definitely leave that down in the comment. But I wanted to show you the final overall. I did move some things around. I added things. I took things out. But I'm really happy with the final result of this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely hit the thumbs up if you like this. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. So this way you can be notified for future videos. I have a lot of ideas coming up for some new stuff and I think you guys will like it. So I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for staying this long in the video and I hope to see you guys again soon.